What's up, everybody? Welcome to we're gonna uh, Friday. So for this segment, we're gonna call it Fan Friday, and uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you, the fans, choose what deck I play. So I posted a comment in Verbank saying, "What deck should I play for my first Fan Friday?" At first, me and Violet said, "My fan suggestion is Mono Fairies with Florgus." Well, so we have Mono Fairies with Florgus right here, but <laughs> later on, Bradley Curcio said. Mono Fairies of Florgus and a 101 Dust Mono line with a one rare candy. Well, <laughs> so I'm a man of my word. That one had the most likes, and here we are. So, this is my take on Mono Fairies Florgus with a 101 Dust Snore and a one rare candy. Uh, so, let's go over the deck real fast. So, Florgus CX. Uh, for one fairy energy, you do attack called lead, and you search the deck for a supporter card, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Uh, it's kind of good if you don't have any supporters in your hand. Turn one, but you have a Florgus, you can search your deck for a supporter. It'd be good next turn. Uh, Bright Garden, this attack does 20 times, 20 damage times the number of grass Pokemon and or and not or just and a fairy Pokemon you have in play. So the most we're going to have in play is five. Um, because you, I'm going to have this one with dust, dust lore, but a dust lore is not fairy and it's not grass. It's psychic, so this deck's only going to do 100 damage turn, but that's okay. That's what dust lore is here for. Uh, I'll get to the second. So we have a Spritzy and Romatis. Uh, Romatis right here. As often you like to return, you may move a fairy energy attached to one of your Pokemon to another Pokemon. So basically, you move fairy energies around with Romatis any way you want to. Uh, next up, Cernius. This is kind of your starter. I know Florgus kind of seems like a good starter, but this is the one you want to really start with. Xerneas. And the reason why it's this first attack, Geomancy. You choose two bench Pokemon for each of these Pokemon. You attach a Fairy Energy to them. So, by the end of turn one, you can have three Fairy Energies attached to your Pokemon. So, it's fairly nice. And also, Rainbow Spear kind of helps against like Sigilus and Suicunes. Uh, for 100 damage, you discard an energy card attached. You discard an energy attached to this Pokemon. So 100 damage knocks out Siglos and Suicune. This is very nice. And of course, the 1 1 Death Snort line that Brad has put, asked me to put in. Uh, I even made it golden for you. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, so right here, I hope it's this Death Snort. I hope it's not the other one. I imagine it's this one. But uh, for those who don't know, Death Snort. Uh, you move one damage counter from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another of your opponent's Pokemon. So basically, you can manipulate your opponent's damage on their side of the field. Uh, if a Pokemon had 100 damage to be active, you can move like 80 somewhere and 20 to another Pokemon and spread the damage out like that. So even though we only hit it for 100, the Death Snort should help us uh, help hit us at magic numbers. Um, now let's go over some things real quick. Uh, Dash Machine. Uh, no, I know I haven't gone on this card. You discard two cards in your hand, or maybe I have, I don't know. You discard two cards in your hand, and you get a training card from just going to into your hand. Uh, it's kind of nice. We can get supporters or ultra balls or anything we want with this. So, it's a very good card. Uh, I especially like it because we play the one rare candy. So, if I have to discard my rare candy early, I can Dash Machine for the rare candy. Uh, for those who don't know rare candy, you choose one of your basic Pokemon to play. If you have the stage two in your hand, that of awesome Pokemon, put that. Put that card on the base of Pokemon. So if you have a Dusk out, you can rare candy to Dust North. That is the only way we can get Dust out is this little three-way combo right here. Uh, max Potion. So Max Potion, you heal all damage from one of your Pokemon that discard all the energy, which usually seems really bad. But with Aromatis, you can move the fairy energies off of whoever, and then Max Potion it. And that's basically how you keep a Florgus alive forever. Uh, we already went over rare candy. So next up, Sacred Ash. Uh, Secret Ash is just so a way I can get back the Dust Snores if I need to. Uh, you shuffle five Pokemon from your Discard Pile into your deck. So you have to shuffle up to five if you have five in your Discard Pile. Uh, <clears throat> now we play four Ultra Ball. Uh, you discard two cards in your hand and search your deck for a Pokemon. It's just a uh, nice way to get Pokemon out. Uh, next up, four Verse Seeker. Like I said, I think every deck should play four Verse Seeker if, if it does, if it can. Uh, Verse Seeker, you put your Spirit Card from your Discard Pile into your hand. Very nice. Especially because we're playing like these 1-1-1 one, one, one supporters. Uh, next up is AZ, which we haven't really talked about a lot. If you run out of Max Potion, you can use AZ, which put one Pokemon, put one of your Pokemon into your hand, but you have to discard all cards attached to it. 
But that's okay, because usually in this deck you're just going to have energy attached, but you just move the energies away and Roma tease. So you can kind of verse Seeker for a max potion uh, if you need to later in the game. Uh, of course, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw a number of cards equal to the number of bench Pokemon you want to play. So if, if you and opponent both have five bench Pokemon, you draw ten cards. Uh, Lysander, you switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active. So basically, you can bring up any Pokemon you want on the bench to the active spot. Uh, Lysander, Trump card. So this card's kind of weird, but it's kind of it's really good in this deck. I like it a lot. So each player shuffles all hit cards in his discard pile into his deck, except Lysander's Trump card. And for those who don't know, Lysander, when what it says, it's for Lysander's Trump card. It's like if you're opponent has a Lysander Trump card, they can't shuffle that name either. So both of you have to like keep Lysander Trump card in your disco Uh And the reason why it's good because you put Max Potions back in. You can put the Dust Noir, Dust... It's another way to get Dust Noir, Dust Gold back in the deck if I need to, if I have to discard the Secret Dash early and the Dust Gold Dust Noir. It's kind of a good way. And like I said, you get Max Potions versus Seekers and everything back. Uh, next up in, each player shuffle his or her hand into their deck and then draws many prize cards. Or, each player draws a card for each of his his or her prize cards remaining. So if I have four prize cards remaining, my opponent has three. I draw four, he draws three. Uh, next ne next up is Fan Club. Once again, I kind of wish Fan Club was kind of like Collector, but for some reason they kind of nerfed it. Uh, Pokemon Fan Club, search your deck for two basic Pokemon, reveal them and put them in your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. So basically you use this to get it like a Spritzy and a Dusk go out turn one. If we can draw into it, we only play two. Maybe I need to play three just to so have a better chance of drawing into it. But the deck's so clunky. Uh, I might drop like a fourth, one of these fourth spare on it. I don't know. Uh, next up, Professor Juniper, discard your card and discard your hand and draw seven. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, next up, Skyla. Now we only play one Skyla. And this is because we play four Verse Seeker, so we can Verse Seeker for Skyla if we discard the Skyla early. So you search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and put it in your hand. So. Uh, next up is Fairy Garden. Each Pokemon that has any Fairy energy attached to it, both yours and your opponent's, have no retreat calls. Of course, we're playing all Fairy energies. We're playing 10 of them. So, everybody, everybody's going to have Fairy Retreat. Uh, so, things that are going to kind of stink if we play against a Garbodor, Garbodor deck, we're pretty much going to lose. We won't be able to use abilities. Uh, a Pyroar deck, we might lose if we can't attack early enough. And a seismitoad. Seismitoad would be kinda of bad to play against too. But other than that, we'll see what happens. I'll try to at least try I'll try to at least get a game or two in. So we'll see. What oh, I know it has an incomplete evolution of change. That's fine with me. Alright, let's see what happens, guys. Versus hopefully one game will take us all to win. So Fairy Dust Nor, that's the uh, best name I can call it. Let's see what happens. Look at it for our opponent. Who wants a piece of fairy dust nor? Florgus dust nor. Hopefully it works out. I have played around with it just a little bit. I haven't really used dust nor that much. It's kind of hard to get out. Um, I mean, I was thinking about it. maybe the deck can actually be somewhat decent because, like I said, Florgus never is going to one shot anything. So you kind of manipulate uh, the damage. So we're playing against Johnny Boy. Playing a fighting and grass deck. Alright, heads. So my opponent chooses where to go first. Hey, that's a DNG coin, I think. That's a fairy Pokemon. Alright, I'm gonna start with Florgus. Why not? Of course, bench the Spritzy. Uh, at turn one, we use the Ultra Ball to get a Dust Goal if it is, if there is one of the, if the one is in the deck. If one of the prize, if one, if one of the pieces are missing, it's hot. Uh, it's, it all goes downhill real fast. But here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, my opponent chooses me to go first. So we see a Hitmonchan and a Hitmonlee. All right, good old combo. All right, so we're gonna Ultra Ball. Oh, this ain't so bad. Oh, <laughs> Ultra Ball. Those two way. Okay, let's see if it's priced. So there's a Dust Nord. There's a Dust Coal. All right, very nice. Both are both Pokemon are in here. Question is, is Rare Candy in here? Oh, Rare Candy's in here. Oh man, we're we're going for this. Oh, seems like we might have a chance. All right, let's get a Duskull. Why not? Why not? That's also a Pokemon we will lose to. All right, we'll just Juniper. I know it's kind of stinks. I have to discard all this stuff. Oh man, next turn we can Skyla to get a Red Candy to get a Dust Nord with the Ultra Ball. Oh, next turn we can do it. Oh goodness, kind of stinks that these Pokemon have 90 HP. 
Oh, there goes. What's this attack do? 20 damage. Okay. So that attack did 20. We might have a chance here, guys. Oh, turn to dust. No, here it goes. We're going to Skyla. Very rare candy. Ultra Ball. Hmm. Let's see. Play four Fairy Gardens, so we'll discard that. And next turn we'll have to Juniper anyway, so we'll discard the Reverse Seeker too. And we'll get Big Bad Dustnor. Alright. There we go, guys. We got a Dustnor out. Who cares what we're playing against? Turn to Dustnor. GG. Oh <laughs> uh, my. What's the second thing do? 60 straight up. So. Not the most eventful deck to play against, but who cares? Doesn't matter what I was playing against. Dustnor came out turn two. Who cares? Ooh, what a strong addition. Now the, this punch is going to do 80. <laughs> Could have put me up to 100. This hit much in might knock me out if he gets like a uh, stadium and a muscle band, but no, we don't see that. Oh, we top deck the Aromatis. What a pro. So here, like I said, you get to move the fairy engines around with, with the Aromatis. Max Potion, Florigus, and we're going to Juniper. Hope to hit a rainbow, or not a rainbow, a uh, uh, fairy energy. Here we're going to attach a fairy energy. Move this fairy energy up with the Romatees. And we'll do Bright Garden for 80. And that could be just reason. No, don't do this. We're doing good. What's happening? No, stop. Okay, there's the 80. Also, oh, we can move. We can manipulate damage here this time. This next turn. Pokemon Center Lady, what the heck? Coming in clutch, clutch Center Lady. Don't know how much you're going to save this hit much hand, but I believe in you. So there we see another, uh, what's this thing called? A Mock Cross. So we top deck another Max Potion. We're going to, of course, heal good old Florgus. I'm just going to end. Who cares? My opponent doesn't have a supporter. Alright, and uh, here we're going to use Sinister Hand to move the 1 damage off. Like I said, we're doing 80. Attach a Fairy Energy for turn. Sinister Hand. Oh, not Sinister Hand, sorry. Wrong ability. Fairy Transfer this up to here. And we'll put this here. And we'll do Bright Garden for 80. Taking down the Hitmonchan. Alright, so on the opponent's turn. Hopefully, he can get another Pokemon. Oh, and we see a Gligar. So what's this first attack do? This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It's kind of interesting. He gets to pick. Oh, 30 to that floor, I guess. He says, I don't like you. That's fine. <coughs> I wish I knew what this Gliscor did. Uh, who cares? We're going to Bright Garden for another 80. Taking down the Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. Now I get to pick one, right? Is this like blue and red? I get to pick my own thing now. Oh, time to see what Glue Score does. Your opponent, your opponent can't touch your energy. Raise their hand to the defending Pokemon. Who cares? We already have enough energies to play. Oh, but we have 90. All right. Uh, I could just Juniper my hand away and hope to hit a Fairy Pokemon. Wait, I can what? To the, oh, so I can still attach this fair energy anywhere. Oh, that's still pretty nice. Who cares if it was only to an active? We're just going to play it in. Hopefully, here another fairy Pokemon. Oh, okay, so next time we will have a fairy Pokemon. So here it is. Bright Garden for 80. Can the second attack knock me out? Poison Jab. It's 16 poisoned. Oh, here goes a Venonette. Here's the end. Oh my goodness, we can take both these Pokemon on next turn. Oh, never mind. A hair across. Oh, great ball. Getting Kevin Baxter over here. And here we see just another 20 punch. Huh. Oh, we are going to one shot this hair across. Lysander this bad boy up before he gets a chance to Mega Evolve. Put a Xerneas down. So we need to move 70 uh, to this hair cross. Just in case he evolves. And there's 40 here. 
We were done. Oh, it's not even close. I need a sturdy one. What am I thinking? You need 70. <laughs> There's 50, 60, 70. So you take down. It's probably not a smart play. We probably need to just take out the Gliscor. Probably just manipulate damage, but that's fine. Who cares? Bright Garden for 100, knocking out hair across the X. So, like I said, maybe this deck does have potential to actually be good. Just because Florgus never did, really does knock out anything. Potion Boo. That's fine. And now he draw. He plays his own fan club. Oh, he knows. He knows what's up. Another hair cross. Man, he really wants to Mega Ball. There's another 20. Here, I'm going to drop a Fairy Garden. Drop another Fairy Energy. And we'll just. Well, I don't really need any of these cards. What I could do is Verse Seeker for Skyla. This is why Skyla is so good in this deck. Skyla, get a Max Potion. Fairy Transfer. And then we will heal this Negros. See, <laughs> that's why, I don't know, I feel like one of Skyla is really good in this deck just because you can Verse Seeker for a Max Potion when you need to. So here we're just Bright Guarded for 100, not going to have the Gliss Core. Sorry, buddy. Now on to my opponent's turn. Yo, op yo, opponent. Does anybody know what that misprint card is? Yo, opponent. Oh, he sees his Venonet. He is. Oh, he is sacrificing his Venonet. Oh, he's trying to paralyze me. Does he flip hands? Oh, he flips tails. Sorry, Venonet. You've met your match. So we're going to bright guard it for game. And there we go. We see. Florgus, Dusnor, Aromatis take a win. Who cares if it's against some Machamp, Hitmonlee, Gliscor, Venonet, Heracross EX. We had a turn to Dusnor. It doesn't matter what we play against. We are going to win no matter what. I'm pretty positive. But uh, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe. Thanks for me and Brad for uh, coming up with the deck idea. Hopefully you like the deck. Uh, maybe I'll work on it some more. Post maybe a random video in the future on it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you liked the video. And have a great day. Alrighty, bye.